Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? Because we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. Mike, this your frequency. That's over at the end of the walkway, top of those stairs. I ain't going anywhere, Davey, until some more of these guys kill each other. Caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Okay, hold our 12. Our, our 9. Okay, our, our 3. No, 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 no. Our 12. Our 12. Our, what the hell is happening here? Here I go. You inbred ass. Yeah, look. You mother. Just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. You know how much attention you'll get if I go down today. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Haynes made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit. Right now, you're not in the trying to kill me. They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. When you get down here, we can go. I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Ah! 
Don't mind me. Look out! Up there! What happens to Hanks? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. Jesus. Another murder with a chopper? How big is their budget? Can someone do something about that chopper? Ah, Christ. The way down's across the walkway, up the side of the complex. What are Merriweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Chopper down! Pick it up, Mikey! My gun's getting hot! Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Of course. More mercenaries here. We got an ETB. Waste of human life. Take him out. More ammo. Looks clear. D, make a play for that stone bench by the pool. I'm coming down. So tell me, Davy, who are these Bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division, gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. The longer you take, the longer I gotta wait to kill you, Al. Look out! Up there! Jesus! Another Mary with a chopper? How big is their budget? Can someone do something about that chopper? I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Merryweather at war in the USA. What happens to Hanks? Norton gonna pop him at the water cooler on Monday? I'm not popping Steve. Jesus. I'll get close to him and I'll try to control him. That's if we get out of here alive. If Uncle T wasn't here, you'd be in real trouble. The way down's across the walkway, other side of the complex. What are Merryweather doing at this party? You tell me. You're the one hitting their planes, trains, and boats. Just trying to earn a dime. Well, your dime put us on their radar, and I don't know how we're gonna get off it. Get down here when you can. I'm between the fountain and the reflecting pool. Come on! What the? Ah, Christ! Inappropriate public spinning to me, man! Take cover! Show In case you can't, I'm about to get iced up here! He They're done! Fitness. I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper! Hey! Thanks, T! Move this is our shot! I'm making a run for the parking lot! Get clear Stop or we'll talk! Finish. You're done! Watch out! The lot's this way! This many bodies, there'll be cars in the lot. Put as much dirt between you and this place as you can. And do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear. I'm taking this one. So long. Be careful, Davey! Say something! Find cover! I'm gonna shoot them! And reload it!
before you disappear, we need to have a conversation. Get that son of a bitch! So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind Relay the pawn the shop in Morningwood! Great! Another chopper! Shit! Smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of it.
bitch ass bullshit. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. I'm meeting them head on. Direct assault. Hey, I'm gonna get in position. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. I reckon our best shot is coming at them from two different directions. They coming for us right now. Shit, it's the Mars home. Oh, it's time to re-up. <laughs> Bring out the 
Lamar will go away. It's me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more of them coming. Blood horn. Move it, guys. Come on. Oh, fuck you. You stupid. Get some cover. The crazy dude here, too. Hey, Trevor. All right, Lamar, let's go. We're getting out. If we go this way, we'll have Michael's gun for support! They drag the wind down here, homie. Up there, dude coming along the side. You got another guy hiding up there? Hey, dog, come on, I think I broke the wheel. You should have stayed in town.
sneaky dude. I still ain't met your ass. All right, you too. Go, 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 go. Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Get in, man. We going. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here? Man, and I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or I get killed, opportunity. Killed, opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the business. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talk about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been a uh, veteran of yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking, so looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you called it? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help you. The unholy fucking trinity. All is beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Four gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called him, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clap. I can make sure I ain't clap. Clearly, you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga, Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around. Man, you's an uncoordinated motherfucker. Don't come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He'd go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? Damn! You remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stress got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog. but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a the cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it fuck. It wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard.
<laughs> you should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squaw bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Are you supposed to, my nigga? Man, if my boss only knew all the stuff I had on...